Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Everybody's alright today. It is Monday, August 21st. Currently it's 72 degrees. High today is 87. And the next few days I think it's supposed to be over 90. And then I think it cools off a little bit. There might be some rain by then. Um, no chance of rain today though and winds at three mile per hour it's been kind of windy most days lately but that feels good out there when you're working or something um a little breeze always helps okay today well we went over to so there's going to be an out and about with mike and joy uh we took mom some veggies over there and i i got distracted uh, joy said well you're going to take her some vegetables some tomatoes and stuff aren't you and I said yeah I said let me go outside and see what all I got you know and I had some tomatoes in here too and so I picked some green beans it's really just enough for mom I don't think there's enough for a big batch of it um, but that's all that was you know the right size out there and uh, lots of uh, peppers uh, some jalapenos Three eggplants. I've got all kinds of eggplants growing out there. And uh, they're really, really good. These are the best I've ever grown. Um, usually I grow some of the Japanese type. You know, they're, they're longer and thinner around. Um, you know, but uh, those don't really work well for, like, um, eggplant parmesan. Uh, I like to have a nice big piece you know not not real thick I, I do it pretty thin and it takes too long to cook if you do it real thick but I like a, a bigger round piece which is the black beauty so that's why I decided just to grow those this year because they're good also diced up and put them in with roasted uh, vegetables you know and roast them it's just really good that way um, so I figured we would do better just to have those I like the other ones for uh, like stir fry and you can roast them too, but not for eggplant parmesan, but I'm glad I grew the black beauties because they're really producing um, But anyway, yeah, I found some of those and then we got over to mom's and I said, you know, here's your some here's your vegetables I had two bags and um, We sat down and started talking everything and mom said uh, Did you have some salsa I said Oh my gosh, and Joyce, like, I can't believe Joy. I, I can believe I forgot. I got distracted, and I, I may not have remembered anyway because I went out and picked all those vegetables, and I thought that was it, you know. But we, we made that salsa, intending to give her a jar of it, and totally forgot. Uh, Joy offered to come back home and, and, and bring it back over there, but Mom said, don't make a special trip. So we're going to, like, just one day uh, this week, we're going to go back over there and take it to her because I, I feel bad that we we both forgot. <laughs> and what was funny is when I was sitting there, right after she looked at the stuff that I brought, and I was sitting there thinking, I think what I supposed to bring her some food. Uh, I was thinking of something like frozen or something, and I was like. No, I don't think so. And then right after that is when she mentioned the salsa. And I was like, oh, I know what I, what I was thinking that now. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, we forgot. <laughs> the one thing, we, the only thing we had to remember, you know, going over there. And that was the main reason we were going over there. And we didn't. <laughs> didn't do it. But, you know, we were, we have been really tired uh, after mowing. It takes days to get over, it seems like. But that's still not tired up here <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that happens you know <laughs> mom forgets stuff sometimes too uh, okay so that's what happened uh we had a good visit though we really did uh joy's been going over there once a week and they like uh, work on puzzles and have lunch uh, sometimes joy will take something usually like subway or something and then mom will fix stuff the other times. And they have a great time. I'm really glad they're doing that. So, uh, so what's for dinner tonight? So I got this stuff. 
our, our friend Joe from Joe's Outdoor Places, and he has Joe's Garden. Uh, check out his channels. Uh, he's like on a diet right now, and um, not really a super diet, I guess. I mean, you know, not that super strict, but he he just is eating certain things and not that much meat. And um, but anyway, he he gets these Dave's buns, which you'll see these in the hall from Kroger that's coming up. Uh, it won't be today, it should be tomorrow. You know, we got the white ones. This is the dark, darker ones that have 21 whole grains and seeds. And uh, they're super soft. And uh, he takes those, or you know, takes one of them, and uh, we bought some hummus. He uses the pine nut one, uh, but you know, I'm sure you can use any. We got, uh, roasted garlic um, next time we're going to get uh, if we like them which i think we will next time we're going to try the pine nut one and he put a little bit of uh onion on it and some hummus and he calls them hamburgers so so we're going to try those uh tonight we're going to have hamburgers and we got some potato salad at kroger and we got a cantaloupe you can see that huge thing right back there see that big cantaloupe that's the biggest cantaloupe I think I've ever seen before. So we're gonna have some of that too. So that'll be a good meal, no meat. You know, and if we like them, we're gonna start doing that probably, you know, once a week or something to save a little bit of money, you know. And it's also good for you to go without it sometime. Probably would be good for you to go without it altogether anymore. <laughs> but you know, I don't I don't know if I could completely go, you know, without it. Um, so anyway, we're gonna try it and see what it's like, and we uh, we may start doing that uh, more often. Okay, used to when we had I, I can't have beans that much, um, but used to we would fix pinto beans in the crock pot or on the stove, you know, and uh, have them and like brown rice, and uh, it was really it was really good. Okay, so that's what we plan on tonight. Um, you, you see, we won't have to use the oven or stove either, so that's a good thing. I think we might even dress them up a little more, bit more. I don't know, we might put a little bit of mayonnaise, and Logan said something about t uh, tomato. I think tomato would be a, great on it too. Um, kind of fix it up like a little burger almost in a way, but it's a hamburger, so. All right, uh, I've got a taste test this morning, and this is, I got this at Kroger. They were marked down. I don't know. They, they don't go out of date until October. Um, I don't know if they're discontinuing them or what, but this is Yo Play Tricks Strawberry Yogurt. I don't know why it does that when I put it close. It messes with the light. Okay, let's see what the nutrition facts are. As you can see on the top of it, it's got tricks in there and okay one container has 130 calories only one percent of total fat only one gram zero saturated fat no trans fat uh, one percent of cholesterol it's only got 95 milligrams of sodium that's four percent it's got 27 grams of carbs that's ten percent no fiber 17 grams of sugar and 14 grams added, that's 28%. Four grams of protein, vitamin D, 10%, calcium, 10%, iron, 4%. Wow, it's got all kinds of uh, potassium, 4%, vitamin A, 15 C, 2%, thiamine, 4%, riboflavin, 2%, niacin, niacin 2%, vitamin B6, 4%. Folate, 4%. B12, 4%. Okay. And, like I said, uh, it's pretty healthy. It's got a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, you know, but, uh, you know, things are worse than that, other sweet things. But, really, only 10% of carbs is not real bad. And with all these vitamins, I'm going to give it like a... Uh, a four 
for a four and a quarter. How's that? Four and a quarter out of five uh, for nutrition facts. Because it really isn't, isn't, isn't that bad for you at all. And you, get, you know, probiotics, I'm sure, is in it. Okay, so you take the top off here. Let's see. Here. This all over the place. Put on there. Hold on, excuse me. Okay. Maybe I could turn this down where you can see the. Okay. So it looks like it's not all the way full, but they got, I guess, you leave room to be able to put these in there. I've had tricks, but it's been. Ooh. Yeah, they smell like Fruit Loops. It's been a long time since I had anything like this. It's colorful. I'll give it that. So, move that in there. Really colorful. Oh, I guess I could put it where you could see it a little better. Hey, let's try some. Mmm. Mmm. The yogurt is just like your regular Yo Play strawberry yogurt. And the tricks to me taste like Fruit Loops. They both taste about the same. Mm. I like the crunchiness of it, and it's really good. Mm. Wow, y'all. Wow, I like them. You know, if you like tricks or Fruit Loops, you're gonna love this. I like them. Um, it just goes perfect with that strawberry uh, yogurt. Um, I, I'm gonna give that a five out of five for flavor because I, it's something different than just regular yogurt. I like the little crunch factor in there. Um, that's why I kind of like granola and stuff in yogurt as well. Um, but I really like this. Um, we got them at Kroger. Like I said, they were discontinued or something. They were only $1.23. Um, but I imagine you could probably find this at Walmart would be my guess. Or your Kroger may have them, and they may mark them down too. Um, but I don't know why, unless they just ha were a limited time having them. Maybe is why. Uh, maybe they don't have them available anymore. I don't know. I'm hoping you can find them if you'd like to, though, and my guess would be uh, Walmart. So, yeah, so I'm going to uh, finish this. I'm going to give some of to Joy, I guess. I'll just take another bite or two and give it to Joy and let her try it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there's a big thumbs up from Joy, too. She really likes it. So, see if you can find it if you're interested at your Kroger or, Kroger, uh, or uh, Walmart, maybe. Or any other store that has a good you know, section of, uh, of yogurt. Okay, let's uh, do some tidbits. Oh, I thought this was so cute. I, I guess I could show it. It's off TikTok. Let me see. Let me see if it, this is so cute. Let me see if it'll... Okay, look. There may have been some kind of sound. It's turned down for me. Are those foxes? I, they look like foxes to me. But look at them one by one. I've never seen that many if that is. Each one gets a little, like a little mini loaf of bread or something. 
they don't fight each other really or anything. Here's the last one. And it goes off. Isn't that something? Well, this may have been, well, it, it went to something else. Okay. Whoa. Here's a frugal mama in the woods. Beth, here's her breakfast. I don't know what, she said she was having camera issues. That looks like tomato, cucumber, some type of uh, dressing, what's it say? Cucumber, tomato, avocado with lemon juice and tahin chili powder. That sounds good. Okay, let me get back where I was. Oh, shoot. Okay, that was so cute I thought though. Okay, this says space travel industry seeks a green turn. The space travel in industry is responsible for the same amount of carbon emissions as the global aviation industry. But there is a green revolution starting in the space launch industry. Excuse me, many rocket launching companies are rethinking the fuel being used while some others are setting out to tackle the issue of space debris. And they say there's just a ton of space debris out there just orbiting around our planet. Uh, storm survival, pet owners urge to plan ahead. You know, pets can get lost in the shuffle when you're having an emergency, you know. Um, authorities are advising residents to make essential preparations for their pets and livestock as a severe storm approaches. Ensure you have extra supplies of food, water, medications, as well as kennels. How could you have extra kennels? What's that? I mean, <coughs> I don't know what that really means. Bowls, leashes, and blankets. Also, experts stress the importance of having a reliable evacuation plan, a secure shelter, and an emergency kit. I don't understand the kennel thing. Uh, what are you going to have? Like, carry your fence around with you or something? Uh, lunar letdown. Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft crashes. Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft has collided onto the surface of the moon, its space agency Roscosmos said. This marks the failure of Russia's first lunar mission in 47 years. Earlier on sa uh, Saturday, the lunar lander had failed to enter its scheduled pre-landing orbit due to an abnormal situation that occurred on board the automatic station. And this one is Hero Dogs Lead Search for Maui Wildfire Victims. Dogs are spearheading the effort to recover the hundreds of victims who were killed in the Maui wildfires. Human Remains Dogs, or HR Dogs, were flown to Hawaii from across the U.S. to search for the unrecognizable bodies from the wreckage. As of Saturday, the canines have located 114 confirmed victims within the 60% already searched burn area. So it's so sad what happened, but at least these they can help find them to where, you know, families can have some uh, closure and stuff, you know. So that's a that's really a blessing that they have those. Okay. Yeah, they I think I, I read there was like still a thousand people missing. So let's hope they can find most of them alive. Uh, okay, let's see what's going on here. I thought I saw a, a uh, there's Kroger, Big Lots. There's a nice news, but I thought there was a manager's uh, special. I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how I, I went past it. There it is. Here's a grocery outlet manager special. This is the lunch meat we got. There's three packs in it. They're all like wrapped. And uh, that comes to 27 ounces for $4.99 and it's delicious. 
butter I just got some at Kroger though for $2.99 that's $3.49 looks like I can't tell what brand that is and then I can't tell what brand this either it says smoky barbecue cheddar cheese crisps and something right here for $1.99 um, this is strawberry banana chips $1.99 and uh, that looks like Lloyd's maybe uh, barbecue it's pulled chicken with barbecue sauce $3.99 Kroger's had the curlies on sale for $3.99 but I still have a, a package of my my homemade barbecue that's much better in our opinion uh, and uh, I think I have a, a Lloyd's barbecue pro so I didn't really need any but that's a good price even at, at Kroger that's a great price and this is good we've had the chicken before and it's good okay where was my here's nice news oh my gosh we're about out of time i didn't realize it got away from me how about saving an endangered route 66 gas station wants a safe haven for black travelers if you ever planned a motor west nat king cole crooned in 1946 Travel my way, take the highway, that's the best. He was singing, of course, about historic Route 66, established in 1926 and spanning more than 2,400 miles from downtown Chicago to Santa Monica, California. Route 66 was officially decommissioned as a highway in 1985, but in its early days it was promoted as being both direct and scenic. For many, though, there, were, there was even more reason to take it. The three threat filling station in Luther, Oklahoma was one, once the only black owned gas stop along the country, a cross country roadway providing respite from driving for people of color. This was literally, literally a safe haven for people during the Jim Crow era, explained Edward Threat, whose grandfather owned the station. In 2021, the site was named one of America's most endangered historic places by the National Trust for Historic Preservation, which is now working with threat to bring the building back to life. Let's see if we got a quote of the day. Okay, quote is from Malala Yousafzai. Education is one of the blessings of life and one of its necessities. Okay, everybody, that's it today for Morning Coffee Break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, definitely check out Out and About with Mike and Joy today. And you'll see all them veggies we took to my mom. Bye, everybody, and God bless.